One of the most wanted strikers in the world right now is Victor Gokarez. Now last season he spearheaded championship team Coventry to a playoff final where they missed out on promotion to Luton. And after signing for Sporting in Portugal this season with his 34 goals in 50 games has gained attention from a lot of the world's top clubs. But just how good do the stats translate to ability and why is he so effective right now? Let's get into it. Now Gokarez has had a really weird come up which I think makes him more interesting in 1920 season when he was just 21 years old he played in the Bundesliga 2 and moved to Coventry for two and a half seasons now there he really became a star player and was arguably the best player in the championship last season and after joining Sporting in Portugal he has not looked back and in just 35 games this season has a whopping 43 goal contributions which is insane breaking multiple records on the way now Victor Gokarez plays as the number nine in Sporting's 3-2-3 system Sporting currently sit one point clear at the top of the league and are playing very very well this season and despite popular belief Victor Gokarez actually has a very hard role in this team now they play a combined system of high pressing with mid block defending but also like playing out from the back and playing over the opposition if they play a high line using very different methods to get into the box and actually changing mid game a lot of the time this means Gokarez needs to be good at all these parts of the game not only needs to be good at pressing backwards winning the ball but also being able to come into midfield and pass the ball off while also being able to run over the last defender now the first First thing is Gokarez is mental he is so good at effectively pressing really fantastically intensely and mobility wise not only is he very quick to get out to the defenders often being the main guy that has to do it for his team at the vocal point he's very good if they get past him at running back and winning the ball back very effectively he helps the midfield a lot and is very much everywhere on the pitch but as someone that's also six foot two he's very good at being that central target man he can be the someone that is waiting for the ball over the top to like be on the last defender and run through because he's got great pace but he's also someone that can hold the ball up as well with goal kicks Sporting like to do a lot there's a lot of times it goes to him he has to hold the ball up and wait for people to come and help him this effective skill set would probably make him good for any sort of Premier League team because he can play in a lot of different ways I like the fact he can stay on the last defender if needed but against Prem sides that like to play low blocks if you are a big team having someone that is a vocal point who can win jewels win headers in the air and get the ball and team up the pitch I think could be very vital and honestly he can play in so many different ways so it helps you make game to do anything you want he also does have them reactionary striker instincts that you want he's very good at staying on the edge of the box and running in the box to keep on side at many times he's very intelligent and understands the tactics and where he needs to stand to help the team he's very much reminds me of someone like martin odegaard but very more further up the pitch understanding when to link up with players when to make the runs and when to actually change the system so he has to go into a certain different position and it may seem like i'm saying he's got everything but there's actually this season he has proven he can do so many different parts of the game he's got a little bit of everything because not only is he a big guy he can also stand it up be good in the air and head the ball in he's one of the best technical abilities i've seen from a striker in a very long time he's such a good ability on a turn to pick the ball up and keep running at defenders now he isn't the quickest player in the world he's not going to be incredibly quick but i would say he is still very fast to get past defenders and often won't get catched up even with the ball and the unique thing about him is that he can drop between the lines turn and carry with speed this makes him a transitional threat when carrying through the lines while also being a threat in all phases of play and with sport and how they play at the moment with different ways and change it up different game i think he would benefit most teams because he's used to that different change always happening and he's not used to just one way of playing and now while every team would want a player like this because he's already got all these brilliant abilities the main reason why people want him is because he is insane at goal scoring ability and it's because he combines all the best parts of his game into that sort of motion to get the goals away he has a brilliant ability to create separation thanks to his physicality but also through tight technical dribbling in small spaces and this makes his whole profile very well rounded and usually the main thing about him is when he gets in good positions he has a brilliant physical and technical dribbling ability which we know but he is an elite ball striking player and using that with his physical frame back to goal to turn players with his brilliant technical ability as well he often actually just smashes the ball in he is so good in the ability to actually finish and I think at a lot of Premier League teams he'd be by far their best finisher in the squad I don't think anyone really comes close to him in many any of the top six sides because he's a very clinical player and takes most of his opportunities while also often leaves smashing the ball as hard as he can into the top of the net now you've definitely got to consider the fact he is playing in the portuguese league and did play in the championship last year and he's obviously excelled brilliantly in them leagues but they're not going to necessarily have the best defenders up against him but from just a raw technical ability you can see that he has the athleticism work great determination ability to strike the ball technical quality ability to create separation and positional discipline to be a top top 
top player. These are his key attributes and they've got to be great in any sort of team. But to just consider him as a striker as well would probably be disrespectful to the player because he is someone that actually does get on the ball a lot. Averagely this season, he's getting around 47 to 48 touches per game, which is actually quite a lot compared to some strikers that would play more of his number nine and more on the last defender. For instance, it's a lot more than people like your Victor Ossiemens, like your Harry Kane and like your Erlen Haaland who often sit around the box waiting for the ball to come to them being able to be clinically finished. Because Gokarez has actually played in multiple positions in his career like much deeper in midfield or on the wing he often, often likes to come in around in any of them positions and helps sport in coming into the left side or into the centre deeper to help hold up the ball or find the positions that are needed. He often doesn't mind drifting wide and getting to try and dribble the chances but also to actually pull players away to help other players get create that space. However if you think Victor Gokarez is just going to be able to take on teams by himself then I wouldn't recommend him as a player because I don't think he's necessarily at that physical level to do that. He is not going to be going up square one to one with people like Virgil van Dijk. He won't be able to do that and Virgil van Dijk will often get the better of him. Where he does excel is his passing and his ability to be able to tactically adapt to try and get past the player being smart rather than just being physical and he's not necessarily going to be a ruthless striker that's always going to be in the right positions. He often might take up different positions to help other players and will often think about the team over the player. Now this may sound good but this also may be bad depending on how you play him. Someone like Nunez can be good at these things as well but I think I'd rather have him going toe to toe with the defenders and being a physical monster, getting in the right positions and getting loads of shots away himself. Now despite being a player that could create chances for himself or his teammates, if you want to just put him up front and not make sure that he has to do all that work where he has to come deep or go to the left or right then he'd probably be more effective because as long as you put him in positions with the ball to his feet closer to the goal he will probably get good shots away and end up scoring and with his ability in the end to just create a little bit of space between him and someone else I think he could be a brilliant player and a brilliant sign for many teams that could pick him up but also at the age of 25 someone that's going to be in their prime in the next few years he isn't necessarily an elite number nine right now but he definitely can have to be and be the potential to be in the next few years if used correctly the good thing about him he is a bit of a plug and play player he will figure things out because he's very tactically smart and he can play a lot of different roles which can help the squad you can even play him a little bit deeper and he can help the team create and be much more progressive in that way i can understand personally why teams like arsenal manchester united and tottenham would really be interested in a player like this because i do think it would make them a lot better because he can work with the players that they have going forward and play in a lot of multiple different positions but if he was under a manager like Mikel Arteta, i expect him to become an elite number nine and could understand if he is their number one target in the summer but the price may put them off because he is one for a lot of money thank you guys for watching let me know what you think of this sort of video and let me know what you think about victor gokarez and his chances of signing for a different team if you like this video i recommend my video from from yesterday where i talk about Havertz's new role within the arsenal squad thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one